Welcome back to the vlog. It's Michaela. I am starting to clear out the nursery, um, but before I continue, let me show you the mess so that we can get this room ready for baby. So there's a pile of some of the baby stuff we've accumulated so far. Got some junk behind the door. All right, piles of paperwork that I need to sort and file. This is my desk that I used to work at doesn't fit all the monitors. So I need to clear this off. We've got plans to remove the rollback portion of it and to leave all of the flat surface exposed and pull it downstairs to my office. So I have a desk with drawers that can hold my laptop and monitors. Next is my bookshelf, our lovely bookshelf which I can actually take trips. I'm gonna pull it downstairs into the same room as the office. I'm gonna take trips with piles of books in my hands, go downstairs, put them in piles, as well as the stuff on top. And then right here, it's in two pieces. We've got the bookshelf piece and a cabinet piece. So everything inside of this, I'm gonna pull out. Oh, now I know why you can't see. I haven't zoomed in too much. All right, so I'm gonna pull everything out of the bookshelf, bring it downstairs, pull the top and the bottom separately downstairs, reassemble it, and put all the books back on it. And I'm gonna have that and the desk in the room where I'm turning into my office downstairs. And I also need to pull out all of my sewing stuff. We have to figure out where in the world we are gonna put all of my sewing stuff. Uh, projects, scraps, thread, tools, accessories, my serger, my sewing machine, my table, figure out where it's all gonna go downstairs. So I'm going to get to work on pulling what I can out and putting it where I can put it. And then getting Matthew to help me give a new home to all of my sewing stuff. <sighs> all right, so I thought I'd give you another update of the progress made on the nursery, but I went ahead and took the parts off of the top of the desk. So now it's just a flat desk. Now I'm gonna fill, put in wood filler, a wood putty, and then just smooth it flat. And because of the way the table, the desktop was done with the attachments on it, there's no stain here, the stain here, but no glaze. So I am just going to fill in these gaps with the wood putty, the wood filler. Uh, sand it flat and then I'm gonna just put contact paper over the top because it'll be kind of like a quick fix Just so I can use a desk in my office downstairs Here is some of the baby stuff that we've accumulated so far. I've got craft bin down on the bottom This is clothes that I can't wear currently and some maternity clothes that don't fit the bottom two are sewing stuff I think I showed you that Got my sewing table, sergers in the bag, sewing stuff, internet. That's something we have to figure out with baby in the room. Sewing stuff, sewing stuff, router box. So I'm gonna have to get this stuff out of here. I want that stuff off the wall cause it's gonna have to come off the wall anyway. I need to throw this away. I got the closet all cleared out. It's dark back here. There we go, got the closet all cleared out. So I am going to be painting, there we go. I'm be painting all of this ugly wood trim. I'm not a fan of wood trim. And I'm going to be painting it white. And let's see, it is September. So about a year and a half ago, April, we painted these doors and the trim in the hallway, the dining slash living space. It was already white, but it had a lot of rough patches that needed to be touched up. And we did the kitchen and the wainscot. I think it's got the chair rail because that was patchy. Uh, the baseboards needed to be touched up. So we, I, we did these three spaces. These doors, two of these doors were brand new doors, unpainted. And the other two doors, the nursery bedroom and the bathroom door, were older doors that had that sheen. It was looked like wood, but not real wood. They're all the hollow doors that were uh, wood 
and all of the trim had been replaced, at least on these two, I think. No, these two. So they, so two doors and door frames got replaced. Two doors and door frames are original. Those are painted white. Here is basically what they did. Hallway, bathroom. I'll show you the bedroom. So this is the new trim, unpainted. This is still the new trim that we painted. So it's just barely different white. And the trim is brown. It's wood. I hate it. <clears throat> so I'm going to be painting all of the trim. Ooh, sunshine! So the window is wood too, and it's rough. It needs to be painted anyway. Let's see if we can get a good angle down here. Yeah, that's nasty. That's just sponge. But this is rough. It's lost its glaze and stuff on it, and the thicker grain is raised, and the softer grain is worn away. So that needs that needs to have paint on it. Okay, closing that. Ooh, sunshine in the face. Before I get painted, I just wanted to show you kind of what we've got cleared out so far. This is a nursery. It doesn't look much like a nursery right now. All right, quick little update. I reorganized the stuff that was in here, pulled the sewing stuff out, pulled the stuff off the walls, took the curtains down, and you can see what it looks like in here. Wood trim. And if it makes it feel darker in here, that's part of the reason that I am not a fan of wood trim. I mean, the windows are, these are brand new windows. They replaced these. The owner before us probably did. I don't know, these, these are newer windows for me. I'm used to old farm windows. Nice white windows, new windows with a wood frame. I'm just, I'm not a fan of wood frame, of wood trim. It's dark, it's dirty looking, and the, a lot of the other house already had white trim, so why keep wood trim? So you can see I pulled, you can see that I pulled everything to the middle of the room. I've taken the doors off. They're right here. I pulled the curtain rod out. I'm not painting the curtain rod. There's no point if hangers are going to be sliding across it. I'm gonna paint the shelf, this metal hook, the braces on each side, and the trim inside and up and around, help bring light in here. I kicked the spacer in the floor for the cur for the closet door. I need to clean up. There's still painter's tape along the edge of the trim and on the baseboards. There are so many holes from so many different types of blind or curtain that was put up here. This is why you do not put curtain rods on the trim. Quarter round is not usually put in a window. Usually this is a nice 90 degree angle and you'd have that corner to put in a blind bracket, but you should put curtain hooks next to the window trim or like right up here so that from a distance, the curtain surrounds the entire window and putting a hole in drywall is much easier than putting put, fixing a hole in trim. And right along here should be a framing beam, a two by four. So if you have a long enough screw, you'd be screwing right into that piece of wood bracing your curtain rod. Trim is actually not held into that frame. It's literally just little tacks just held onto the drywall. It's not strong enough to hold weight. Here's the before. All right, so it is the beginning of November. It's been since the end of September that I started painting the nursery. So this is going to be the final of the nursery until at least baby gets here. It's still a work in progress, but at least the painting job is done. There's some of the white trim. Got a crib, chest of drawers, nursing chair, closet. You can see how much better white trim. Painted the shelf white, the 
I forget what that brace is called for closets, a closet shelf and rod brace or something like that. Oh, I need to open the windows. So much better. Yeah, I did some cleaning on that. But so much better. This looks so much cleaner here. We got some decor. That's what the nursery looks like.